today you can tell by the surroundings that we're not at home so we're going to attempt to do a video whilst we're in our motorhome so ever mindful that a lot of people when they've got their caravans and their motorhomes maybe only have uh, two rings i've got a full-size cooker i'm very lucky in this one but a lot of them only have a, a dual stove or two ring stove or whatever so we're going to just do two pots so it'll be a pasta dish nice and quick and we're going to do it quick because I don't know if you'll actually pick up the sound of the wind but we're right up the north coast of Scotland right now at Sango Sands uh, Durness right next door to the Cape of Wrath and I don't know whose wrath is raining down upon us right now but my goodness it's blowing a pulley so apologies it might be ever so slightly shugly but let's get started here we go we're going to just do a smoked sausage tomato pasta dish so a good glug of olive oil into a pan two tablespoons I need to try and remember what I'm saying here so as when I write it up gas what a difference instant not used to cooking with gas so this is just brilliant and guess what Kenny I've not looked out my wooden spoon but never mind it's all to hand so what we have here is about five or six mushrooms already just quartered and one onion now it was just a red onion i had to hand so whatever onion you've got will do just a medium sized onion so we'll just get it on and start it cooking down this kind of meal is just keeping everything to a minimum so as you know you're not you're on holiday you're not wanting to spend your life cooking and what have you but i have been asked to do this so we're giving it a little bash i've got four just ordinary salad tomatoes nice and ripe so they might even squirt up in my eyes in a second but we'll just chop them up whilst that's sweating down I'll do it quicker than I would advise you to do it at home give these maybe five minutes to sweat down you're wanting the onions to just start to go translucent they're not needing to brown or anything but you're wanting them to just soften to release some of their natural sweetness I've got banded down at my feet here as well so if we suddenly move in a strange direction it's probably because i'm about to stand on these nose it's literally resting on my foot here kind of like <laughs> see him <laughs> needs to be close to, to the action close to the food but we've actually we've just had them down on the sands i mean it is a beautiful bay here i think i'll get kenny to put up a picture just at the end or at the start just to show you exactly where we are because it is stunningly beautiful everything that Scotland has to offer in abundance including the wind so straight in with these tomatoes and then we'll just turn the heat down a little and start adding the flavours so we've just got some herbs so just a teaspoon of mixed herbs doesn't matter if it's slightly slightly more Half a teaspoon of black pepper. That can be up to yourself. You might not like it as peppery as that. Will you go in here? Nope. Two generous teaspoons of, in fact, you know what? We're going to make it three of garlic. I'll just go like that. We like our garlic in this house. One just of stock. I always say that you can add to your stock. It's not as easy to take it out. So one uh, chicken stock cube, pork, uh, ham stock cube, whatever you have to hand. Mine's is my usual Polish one. And then all we're going to do is two tablespoons of tomato puree. Good scratch. We're off back home tomorrow. We've had a lovely week just touring around Scotland. It's been absolutely glorious. So I'm just going to give a big shout out to our friends in Sky. Um, they just gave us the most wonderful Saturday. We were out with Collies and Cakes and Bob Moss and Sky, uh, Steve, Blaze, just the whole shooting shebang, Leo Ripley and Jasper. And it was just fantastic. I had a great day down at the Secret Beach and thank you very much for taking us to it. Just a little water just to loosen it. Just half a cup, say. You're really not needing very much because you're going to get liquid that's going to come out of the mushrooms and some liquid will come out the tomatoes as well obviously and you're just wanting to leave this now to break down I'll add 
probably half my sausage as well. Now this just needs to cook for about 45 minutes. So after half an hour, get your pasta on, whatever pasta you want. We're just using macaroni tonight and then you have a dinner ready for you just in 45 minutes. This is also great to do the day before because it just, the flavours, you know, will get richer overnight. So that's about as much as I can do just now. And we'll just come back right at the end and put it together, pop it out on a plate. And I think that's it. So, see you in a wee while. Bye. Okay, so we're just about to put the pasta into the sauce. And I just want you to have a quick look, Kenny, just to see just how beautifully rich that has gone. Now I've had to actually add a sugar cube to this tonight because maybe my tomatoes weren't quite as sweet as I was hoping. But it's always just worthwhile tasting and that's just quite a good thing that you, you can have up at your sleeve. You would just put in a little bit of sugar just to sweeten the tomato. I'm just going to add my pasta straight into the sauce. Never mind if you do it the other way around, but my philosophy in life is why um, dirty two pots when you only need to dirty one. So we just uh, we put the pasta into the sauce. No doubt there will be somebody out there saying, oh, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done it like that. But anyway, that's how I've done it. Just whilst I'm mixing this, actually, I'm just thinking, I was talking about the walk that we had when we were out in the sky. And it just actually reminded me that our friend Steve actually does these walks for people. And I have one of these wee flyers, Blazing Trails, and it's walks to suit your needs. So they can be as difficult or as easy as you like. And I mean, you find Steve at uh, Ace Target Sports, which is a fantastic day out actually for all the family. You know, just uh, archery, um, Axe throwing. Oh gosh, that sounds a bit dangerous. I'm glad I never did that. But that's um, it's Blaze. We all love Blaze the dog, the collie. It's Blaze's Uncle Matt and his dog Buster you find at Ace Target Sports. But there's a couple of wee pictures actually just of the people, a couple of people that have actually done the walks. And I mean, it's just it's such a lovely, relaxing experience and fantastic way to see sky. Because you, you miss such a lot if you're actually in the car, so that's a good, a good thing to do. So I'll give a wee shout out because he's a really good friend of ours. I wouldn't normally, but make an exception this time. Okay, we're just going to serve this up in our very classy plastic plates. With no point having crockery that gets damaged whilst you're swinging about in the winds of Scotland. Around all these bends that we had to negotiate. In fact, Kenny's going to be putting up some videos of, um, oh my goodness, the pass. What did you call it, Kenny? Oh. I can't do it in Gaelic, but is it the cattle pass or something? Bien -ba. Bien -ba. Someday again, I'll correct like us. Yeah. And my goodness me, it is hair raising, taking you down to Apple Cross. Just a little bit of cheese over the top. And this is just a quick, simple dinner good to go, smoked sausage and tomato pasta. Yum yum. You'll find all the ingredients, the recipe on the Orkney News as always. Give us a follow and actually like I say Kenny's going to be putting up all the videos and things of the holiday on the Orkney News channel on YouTube so give us a wee follow, subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!